I'm going to show you how you can get a Nissan going that's got a problem with the intelligent key system. And also, we'll tell you why you shouldn't buy a Nissan with the system in the first place. <laughs> this Nissan has a key problem. When you push the start button, the intelligent key light comes on telling you there's a problem. Now, the owner had an extra key, so we tried that. And both keys would open and unlock the doors. So there's not a problem with the key. We tried a new battery, but that didn't help either. So there's a problem with the intelligent key system in this car. Now, I already have a pretty good idea what it is. There's a stupid module that goes bad all the time in these. And here's how you can at least get the car started so you can drive it somewhere. You have to take the bottom panel off. There's just a few screws you unscrew. And parts that you just snap off like this. And when we remove the last screw, the whole panel just pops off. And under the steering column, here's the stupid module that goes bad. So with your key placed into the slot, give the stupid module a few whacks, and we'll see if it starts. Voila, it starts. Now you can drive the car somewhere, but it still does have a problem. And the warning light tells you that, it's still on. And it's going to cost you a small fortune to fix, because that stupid module costs $687. And the dealer wants an additional $275 to install it, because they have to reprogram it. You can't do that yourself. Heck, I can't even do that. Only the guys at the dealership or a bonded locksmith can get the codes. So now at least you know how to get your Nissan going when the stupid intelligent key system breaks down. But really, take my advice. Be smart. Don't buy a Nissan with an intelligent remote system in the first place. Now they did tell me at the Nissan dealer that it had an extended warranty. But guess what? That expired three years ago. So there goes 900 bucks down the drain if you want to fix the stupid thing. Or if you're electrically minded, you can Google it. There are bypass systems you can buy on the internet for usually a couple hundred bucks that you can rewire it and bypass the stupid crap. But me, I'll stick to buying cars that have plain old keys. You can lubricate them with WD-40, and if they ever wear out, you can go to a hardware store and get one made for a couple of bucks. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.